uh, post uh, hijama precautions after hijama I uh, tell a few things uh, to this person and then uh, in most cases you know it is a good idea just to, that there, there shouldn't be any blood coming I'm not saying you keep on sucking the blood if it doesn't stop you know do this is a healing package goes back and everything inshallah it will stop blood but in most cases blood stops you know just clean it nicely you know give him a good good feeling because many times if you know it's all dirty and then he goes he thinks you know hijama is a big project next time he thinks twice do it now if you just keep everything you know clean and i say spend two minutes extra clean the back now he can go like it's his normal regular day so uh, clean nicely and then he can have a little burning going on on the back just tell him this is normal uh, that few hours to one day when you can have a little burning going on on these spots this is very much normal actually it's a good sign because you know like just because your body is going through the, the stimulation and activation nothing's wrong with that in most cases you don't have to put any medication on that but you are free to do that you can use any antibiotic cream or antiseptic cream or olive oil or black seed oil or honey or whatever you want nothing's wrong with that you can do that but it's not a must it's not now when it comes to food you can eat almost anything uh, still I'm f- trying to find the answer for you know some people say don't drink milk and uh, or milk products uh, I understand that a uh, fish is not the best thing to take it simply because it has omega-3 and omega-3 is a blood thinner so you don't want to ooze the wounds uh, but otherwise other thing I don't know but still I like uh, because you are a hijama therapist so I'm just talking to you right now but to common people I say okay you know why not don't use anything from milk today nothing's wrong if you just keep it for one day but uh, so this is one thing and uh, the second thing is to avoid is overeating because you don't want to rush too much blood towards the digestive area you want the even distribution after hijama when we eat food a lot of blood is required to the, the heavier we eat more blood is required to, towards that area mm-hmm.